Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this everyday makeup look for 2020 and it's a very affordable. This palette is only $15. I have a link down below. This is from KJ Cosmetics and it's called the Victoria palette. I love every single color except for one from this palette. That bright red does not show the pigment that it should. But other than that, every other shade is perfect for an everyday look. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with a random fluffy brush and I'm using this light brown shade and I'm going to be applying this all over my crease. I'm using this as a transition shade. You guys, these colors don't have a name yet, but for a brand that's just starting, I think it's just, it's perfect. The quality is good and it's inexpensive. So I'm going to be going in with this. I'm going to start buffing it out all over my crease and my V area. While I'm doing this, let me just tell you guys, I'm going to be creating a more natural look for an everyday makeup look in 2020 because I know that there's a lot of you that probably work or you have kids to take to school and you just want to run out the door. <laughs> so it'll be easier if I make something much simpler in case you guys don't know how to create a cut crease. So this is the next shade I'm taking and I'm using a pencil brush. It's called the JH37 and this one's from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection. There is some fallout on the palette, but I've never really cared too much about that. So, but I'm just letting you guys know so you know what to expect from the palette. So I'm going to be applying this on my crease, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on that outer V area. Try to keep this tightly onto the crease and do not go above the other shade that we applied because we want both of the colors to be noticeable. One thing I want you guys to know about this palette is that these shades are very easy to blend. So that's one of the things that I absolutely loved about it. Uh, the reason why I'm taking a while to blend this out is because I keep packing some more on and I'm building the intensity as I go because most of you know that already follow me. You guys know that I like to do that because if I go in with a bunch of eyeshadow, it's going to be harder to blend and it's so easy to make a mistake like that. So I want you guys to see the process so you guys understand what I'm doing and that way it's easier for you guys to learn the blending process and it does take a while but trust me the results are worth it. Next, I'm going in with this orangey shade and I'm going to be using the M433. This is a fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm going to use this shade to blend those two colors together. After I'm done blending these shades together, I'm just going to be going back in with my first fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this all around so that I can get rid of any harsh lines that I might have left. I'm not going in with any product, I'm just using whatever's on the brush just to mix the shades together. Next, I'm going in with my Believe Beauty Concealer. This is very affordable as well. It's only $4 at any Dollar General store. And I'm going to be using the same little stick that's on my concealer to cut my crease. And like I said before, I'm going to be making a way easier makeup look for those of you that don't have time to do this in the morning. So after I'm done creating this cut crease, I'm going to be going in with this pink shade. And it's very shimmery and smooth. And it's also very buttery, which I loved. I'm using the JH41 flat brush to apply this and I also sprayed it with some Urban Decay setting spray. These shimmery shades are very buttery so you don't really need to spray any setting spray but I'm a little extra so I wanted to do it but I'm just letting you guys know so you know what to expect from the shimmery shades. Next I'm going in with this orangey shade and I'm using the Sephora number 14 brush. This is the shade that's going to make the whole look pop i'm applying this on that outer area where i left some concealer and i'm slightly putting this onto that light pink shimmery shade as well so that it looks blended and the transition looks good from light to medium to dark and then now i'm going back in with my pencil brush jh37 and i'm applying this darker shade and this is what's going to make the look come together i'm going to apply this on my outer v area as you guys can see right here and i'm also slightly applying some on top of that orangey shade so that it looks very blended and smoky after that i'm going back in with my m433 brush and i'm just going to use that to blend that outer area out and i'm not using any product whatsoever i'm just simply using whatever is left on my brush and i'm using that to blend all the shades together now, since I want it to be a little extra, I'm going to be applying this orangey shimmery shade with my finger and I'm going to be putting this in the middle of the pink shimmery shade and in the middle of that orangey shade. I'm just being extra and I wanted this to pop even more and I wanted to show you guys more colors, as many as I could on my lids. 
Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner, and I recommend this, you guys. It's very affordable from $8 to $9. This is a drugstore eyeliner. So I was having a little bit of trouble with the NYX one that I recently purchased as well. It dried out so easily, so if there's any gel eyeliner that I recommend you guys from a drugstore, it's this one. And the reason why I'm holding my skin back with my fingers is because it's helping me stabilize my brush so that I can apply this because I don't have a lot of experience with gel eyeliners, you guys. So after I apply this one, I'm going in with some liquid eyeliner and this one's from Italia Deluxe. I like to do this because I want it to look extra dark and because the Italia Deluxe one happens to like crack a little bit when I don't apply anything under it. So I'm just going to be using this on top of this Maybelline one so that it's darker and it doesn't crack like it normally does. Here's a trick for when you apply lashes on top of eyeliner because I know a lot of us have these problems. On the inner corner of our eyes, I know that the eyeliner starts to come off and the lashes too sometimes. So this is a very good trick when you apply gel liner and some liquid liner. It does not do that, you guys. It doesn't come off from the inner corners, so I kind of love that about this technique. And now I'm going in with the Believe Beauty Concealer again, and I'm just cleaning out that outer area. And I'm going to be doing the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. After doing my full face off camera, I'm going back in with this orangey shade, and I'm using the brush M433 again. And I'm going to be applying this on my bottom lash line. Another good thing I'm going to say about these shades is that I didn't really get any fallout on my face while I was applying the eyeshadow, so that's a very good thing. Next, I'm going to be going in with that darker shade, and I'm using the pencil brush JH37 on my lower lash line, but do not cover the orangey shade on the bottom. Try to apply this tightly onto your lash line. Next, I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This is my ultimate favorite mascara. Those of you that follow me know that this is what I use in every single video. And I'm just going to be applying a couple of coats on my top lashes because I'm going to be applying some false lashes as well. And I'm going to be using this on my bottom lashes too. After I'm done applying my mascara, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Pencil Eyeliner. And this is a very, very dark black eyeliner. It does smear a little bit, but I really don't have a problem with that. So it's fine. Next, I'm going in with the Hype Hyper Real Glow, I'm sorry, from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm going to be applying this light shade with a small pencil brush. And this is the E36. This is also from Morphe. And I'm going to be applying this on my inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone as well. But I'm going to be using this very carefully on the top. Because I don't want to mess up the way that I applied my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going in with my eyelashes. These are also from KJ Cosmetics. And these are so cute and dramatic, you guys. This is what they look like outside of the box. And I'm going to be applying these. I think these are in the style Jade, I believe. They are very affordable. They're only $7. The link is down below. And yeah, guys, that is the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video.